Hello friends, in this video I will discuss about cell biology. So a study of cell structure, function and its reproduction is called cell biology. So let me clear you, here we have another term, cytology. So cytology is only a study of cell structure. Okay. C.P. Swanson is known as father of modern cytology and A.K. Sarma is known as father of engine cytology. So firstly in 1665, Robert Hooke has coined the term cell in his book Micrographia and firstly he has observed cell in a piece of cork but that cell was dead cell. After that in 1671, Malpizzi and in 1682, Grew has observed living plant cell and called them bladder and utricles respectively. Then after in 1674, Lewin Hook has observed animal cell and called them animal cule. So some of the facts regarding cell has been given by Escleiden and Swan. Escleiden were German botanist and C.P. Swan or Swan were German geologist. So according to them, some of the facts has been stated and that we call it cell theory. Okay, so let me discuss cell theory. So first point about cell theory is that about its existence. So this term states that all cell arises from pre-existing cell and according to Rudolf Virchow in 1855 he has stated that omnis cellular cellula which means that all cell arises from pre-existing cell okay second is it's a structural unit a structural unit cell is a structural unit. I mean to say that organization of human body or all the living creature or the components of the living structure is made up of cell and the substances derived from the cell or derivative of the cell. So this statement reveals that cell is a structural unit. Cell is a functional unit. All the vital activities of an organism is just because of activity of the cell. This reveals that cell is a functional unit. Heredity. So heredity mainly refers to transfer of genetic character or characters from parent to the offspring or to the next generation. So cell have that capability also. And the fifth point about cell theory was that all the metabolic process which occurs inside a cell is similar in each and every cell and near about all the cells are similar in their structures. So that's all about the five statements, five facts about the cell theory which was studied by Scliden and Swan. Okay. So it has very vital, very, you can say very uh, vast, very important activities regarding the life of a human being. So let me discuss now about the cell structure. So I'm going to draw you the structure of a typical cell. Typical structure. structure of animal cell so it's a plasma membrane outer boundary wall of the cell and plasma membrane get modified to form different structures like it's a plasma and uh, smaller one 
It's a structure of cilia. Both are locomotory organelles. Helps in locomotion. And plasma membrane get modified to form a finger-like projection, which we call it microvilli. And this microvilli helps the helps to increase the surface area of the contact. Okay. And here we have phagocytic vesicle, which is used to engulf the foreign substance or the substances, or we also we call it cell eating. It is, it is used to eat something. Okay. So it's a pinocytic vesicle. They used to drink something or cell drinking. So these are the modification of plasma membrane. So it's a structure of flagella. This is cilia. This is microvilli. Phagocytic vesicle. And pinocytic vesicle and inside the plasma membrane we have cytoplasm so it is cytoplasm and at the center we have nucleus so it's a nucleus or I can say it's an outer wall, outer boundary wall of the nucleus, which we call it nuclear membrane. Nuclear membrane. And this is nuclear pore. It's a nuclear nuclear pore okay and just inside the nucleus a liquid like substance is present which we call it nucleoplasm and it consists of chromatin thread or we can say it chromatin net chromatin thread Nucleolus is attached with this chromatin thread, which is non membranous structure. So, this is nucleolus, and just above of the nucleus, we have centrosome. So, it's a structure of centrosome, which is also non membranous structure. Centrosome and here we have Golgi body along with vacuoles. Golgi body. So Golgi body also modified to form different structures. One of the very important structure is acrosome, and this acrosome is present at the head of the sperm, which helps to penetrate the layer, the outer membrane of the ovum for the entry of the sperm inside the ovum. Okay, so I will discuss about the Golgi body in my next video in very detail. Okay, so, so beside these all things, we have also a mitochondria, which is double membrane structure. This is mitochondria. And endoplasmic and reticulate structure is associated with the nucleus, which we call it endoplasmic reticulum. So it's a structure of endoplasmic reticulum in short, we can write here ER. Endoplasmic reticulum. And macrotubule, 
and also microtubule may present inside the cytoplasm of the cell. Okay. So in next video, I will discuss about the detailed structure and function of each and every cell organs. So thanks for watching this video. Thank you so much.